Just four months into 2024, Nigeria recorded a total of 156 deaths out of 857 confirmed cases of Lassa fever across 28 states of the Federation. Out of the total confirmed cases, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, reported that 32 healthcare workers were affected by the disease from January to April. As Lassa fever peaks during the dry season from December to April, it has continued to endanger the lives of many healthcare workers. In 2023, 28 states in Nigeria battled Lassa fever. 56 healthcare workers were victims of the disease in the same year. Cumulatively, in the last five years, 197 healthcare workers have been affected. Studies featured in this special report by Premium Times established that the barriers to the control of Lassa fever include the low index of suspicion poor infection prevention and control practices, lack of training on preparedness, and absence of local laboratories. According to experts, healthy and accurate laboratory diagnosis is crucial for the prevention of further spread of Lassa fever because its symptoms at the initial stage can be mistaken for malaria. The critical information that the public needs to know is that not all fevers are malaria fever and because of that if there's any suspected case of fever where you are staying encourage that individual to go to the nearest health facility for proper investigation and treatment some of the health workers who survived lassa fever shared their experiences with premium times and also gave their recommendations the point to note there is that I saw the patient without um, wearing the appropriate um, protective equipment. So I later developed fever after about two days for which I was treated same as, as a case of malaria and typhoid. I was at the intensive care unit and then um, when the index of suspicion was raised that it was a Lassa fever. Also, we were able to, they were able to take the sample of the patient before he later passed on. Um, and it was also positive for Lassa fever. It was just like every normal day. I felt like I had malaria because I had fever and then there was myalgia. I felt really weak. Naturally, I assumed I had malaria. I was treating myself for malaria. I was basically just self-medicating, but later when the fever wasn't coming down, it was like I kept treating malaria for about a week and i wasn't seeing any improvements it took about a month or two but i know i was in the hospital for at least one two three weeks like miss suleiman and many other health care workers mr abdullah started with anti-malaria before he was diagnosed with lassa fever he battled the disease for 29 days so for the healthcare workers we have to be more vigilant the index of suspicion should be high. And then we have to put in place measures for adequate um, treatment of um, patients with Lassa fever. And also there should be provision for diagnostic um, facilities as we have currently in Bauchi in order to ease the diagnosis. Do not self-medicate. I think I would have lost my life from, you know, feeling like I knew it all and this is malaria and I should treat myself. You understand? So I feel like what makes, what is going to really help us is you have any symptom, you have fever, you have, you know, you've seen that this, um, the illness becomes protracted and then it's not going down. Please go to the hospital, have a LASA DNA PCR done. It is free and it is so easy to diagnose, especially in Area Specialist Teaching Hospital. And I can, for a fact, I know that with early presentation, you're not going to die. For healthcare workers who need to increase our index of suspicion, know that, uh, especially in that, in the peak period, Every case of unresolved fever can be last and you should do appropriate testing. 
there is a practice that every physician, not just physician, every healthcare worker is meant to practice at all time whenever you are interacting with patients or whenever you are in the hospital setting. That's what is called universal precaution, which includes IPC. There's a need for healthcare workers to take good care of themselves by ensuring proper use of personal protective equipment, uh, proper use of face mask, and washing of hands with soap under running water, or better still with the use of alcohol base and sanitizer. For service providers to be able to provide the needed and required form of service to their clients, they need to ensure that they protect themselves. By protecting themselves, they're able to protect their clients and they're able to protect the general public as a whole. Thank you. So, um, I give glory to God that I'm here. I'm, I'm alive to share my story um, with the populace. Thank you.